I'm going to show you three little secrets on installing these undermount drawer slides that are going to save you a lot of frustration and a lot of time. So you're not going to want to miss this. Stick around. We're going to get started. Let's go. First thing you want to figure out when it comes to undermount drawer slides is that you got to rebuild the boxes because most likely your existing boxes are not going to work. You've got to have a half inch of clearance from the bottom of the box on this side. So that's that's kind of where the, the rub comes in a lot of times. And so you end up having to rebuild these. Okay, so we're going to rebuild our boxes. Next one. Well, the problem is you're going to get your instructions. You're going to look at everything. It's going to be a little bit intimidating because there's going to be a lot of figures and facts and numbers and stuff in there to try to figure out how big to build the box and how wide to build the box. I'm going to take all that. We're just going to throw that away because I'm going to show you how to not have to deal with any of that. So step one is you're just simply going to go ahead and install your undermount drawer slides. Um, you're going to put them in the cabinet. You're going to mount them in the cabinet just like just like they were going to be in there forever. Then you're just going to grab a tape measure. You're going to pull your slides out. And then once you pull them out, you're going to grab a tape measure and you're going to measure across the top. And you're going to go from the outside edge to the outside edge. That outside to outside measurement is actually what is going to be your inside to inside measurement on your drawer box. I just saved you a bunch of math. Okay. You don't have to do any of the math that's in those instructions. I'm telling you, if you will do this, it just simply works. So the second hack I'm going to show you is with these little holes here on the back of the drawer boxes. Now those holes are extremely important because on your drawer slides themselves, they have a little pin back here and that pin is what is used to hook that drawer box and to hold it in place to keep the drawer box from tipping forward once it's installed. So it's a pretty simple design, but it's a little bit of a pain trying to figure out exactly where do I drill that hole. Again, there's some measurements in those instructions and things like that. I'm going to show you how to not have to do any of that. All you got to do, take your box, put it in place, bring your drawer slides out. Again, we're going to bring our drawer slides back out and we're going to set our box on top of the drawer slides and then we're going to push everything slowly in until it stops. And once it stops, then we're just going to bump it about three or four times. And after three or four times, we're going to pull that drawer box out. What we're going to see is, is that little pin that was on the back side there that we were trying to figure out, it has now pushed up and bumped up against your drawer box in the same spot three or four times. And it's created just a little bit of a divot there that will give you an exact location of where that pin needs to be. So all you got to do is drill your hole right where you see that at. Again, saving you some time. The third little secret I'm going to show you has to do with notching the back of your drawer boxes to allow for clearance on these drawer slides. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? You don't have to do any of that, and here's why. We're going to take, and instead of making our drawer bottom captive all the way around inside of these dados, what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually have these dados in here in three different places. But on this back panel, on this back one, we're not going to actually dado this in and hide this to where the, the box could never come out. Now, I prefer this because you ever have to change out the bottom of the box. All you got to do is to break these staples loose and then slide the bottom panel out and put a new bottom in it if you needed to. Makes it pretty simple. Um, and so by doing that, now we don't have to mess with anything notching or anything like that because we've already got just a giant notch all the way across. So. Another simple little trick that'll save you a lot of time. I'm going to link up a video here, and this is our latest laundry room project that we did. We installed a lot of undermount drawer slides in there, and if that's the kind of content that you enjoy, be sure and check that out.